Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about some more Rec Room Studio stuff. I know I'm making a lot of videos about Rec Room Studio, but it's honestly really cool and definitely worth the watch. So you guys will not be disappointed inside today's video. So without further ado, let's get started. But let's hold our horses real quick. I do want to actually get this out of the way and just say it right as I can. I'd rather just say it now rather than having to say it every time I show off something inside a Rec Room Studio, but everything you see inside a Rec Room Studio was actually made with an early version of it. Essentially, everything you do see is still in a pretty early version and everything can be subject to change. So now that you guys have that basic concept of Rec Room Studio out of the way, be sure to keep in mind that everything with Rec Room Studio is still in a work in progress state. Anyways, I just didn't want to have to say that to every single time I showed off something inside a Rec Room Studio, so take that thought with you when you guys are watching this video. Instead of an older video when I talked about Rec Room Studio, I talked about the fire fracture map and it turns out they have a new feature now with Rec Room Studio. You can basically write on the sky. Using this board here located inside the middle, you can essentially write on the sky. And it actually works live action. There you go, you guys can see that, and if I draw a line, you guys will visibly see me actually drawing. It's pretty cool. So if this interests you being able to draw in the night sky, come to Fire Fracture. It has a new feature. There is a new Rec Room Studio map called Around the Globes, made by Iron Meg. As you guys can see, it's honestly really cool. The room description says as so. In this magical snow globe museum, you can visit the different worlds within the globes. Find each missing globe to visit them all. And as you guys can see here, they have a board of, I'm guessing, all the features that are unlocked or locked. And it seems like they have a lot of them. So go give this room a check out. It'll be linked down inside the description. And uh, yeah, let's continue on. Chris Centurion, a Rec Room developer, does actually say this. He kind of verifies and confirms that we can do custom reloads or playback animations with objects that we're actually holding. It's a pretty funny situation though, because Star Centurion ended up saying something like this. No, you cannot move your character's hands nor body. It's just probably like gun reloads and stuff like that. Other objects can be animated while you're holding them. It's a whole situation, but anyways, let's keep on going. Samuels, a Rec Room Builder, has actually shown off some pretty cool stuff inside of Rec Room Studio. This is the only screenshot we have, but it seems like he's making Gorilla Tag inside of Rec Room, and it's pretty cool. You can see that the map looks awfully a lot like Gorilla Tag in that little tree hole. I wonder how it'll work inside of Rec Room. It's an upcoming room that he's actually making, so pretty soon you'll be able to play Gorilla Tag inside of Rec Room. Now, Rec Room staff Jeff has actually allowed me to use one of his videos for Rec Room Studio. Inside of Rec Room Studio, it turns out that he actually made some sort of timer, and it's pretty cool, actually. Like, it genuinely works. It allows you to choose your seconds, minutes, and even hours. What do you guys think about this timer? Would you guys actually end up using it inside a rec room? Now, for our last thing for today's video, it's actually kind of interesting. We get to see the difference between the actual maps inside a rec room studio between PC and Quest. I mean, it's no difference that Quest is obviously going to be a little worse than PC because, I mean, it's its own headset and PC is PC. Icequake specifically states that he wants to just show the texture and normal map difference between the Quest and PC, and he wants to make clear that obviously this can be changed. So don't let this discourage you all my Quest 2 players, and uh, yeah, what are your guys' thoughts about this? As always, let me know about that down inside the comments below, and that's essentially it for all of today's video. I kinda went over most of the Rec Room Studio news that I was able to catch. I'll make a video pretty soon going into depth on how you can actually find Rec Room Studio stuff and be able to see it for yourself rather than here on YouTube. If you don't care, then I mean, you could just stick around on YouTube and, and you still watch that video if you guys want. I mean, it's up to you. But I will be showing you guys soon on how to actually learn about Rec Room Studio and see some pretty cool creations while you're at it. Yeah, that's basically it for this entire video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and put on those post notifications. It does help a lot. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see all of you guys inside the next video. As always, have a good day. And without further ado, BROFIST!